secondary, we're ready to rumble. And our first match on today's show is a tournament tilt pitting two diminutive dynamos of Stampede Wrestling in T.J. Wilson and Ted Hart. Morrow, with these two young guys in here, this will be a quick one indeed. Both of these guys are very leap and quick as rabbits. Earlier in the tournament, Wilson suffered a defeat at the hands of hotshot Johnny Devine, while Teddy Hart defeated Mikey Lewinsky. Of course, we're running with a three-point system. If you accumulate three points, you're out of the tournament, so Wilson needs to win this bout in order to stay alive. Collar and elbow tie-up in the center of the ring. Arm drag takedown by Wilson into an arm bar. Nice kip up there by Hart. Fireman's carry takeover and an arm bar of his own into a front chancery. Now he cinches in that side headlock. Of course, Teddy Hart with the wrestling jeans, a member of the Hart wrestling dynasty, looking to add to that legacy here in Stampede Wrestling. Indeed, he's a little dynamo. And of course, Morrow, the only thing we're wondering about right now is both these guys, this is a perfect match. But once they start getting in with some of the bigger men, I'm a little worried. They know each other very, very well, having been trained in the Hart dungeon. In fact, uh, growing up, they went to the same school. This could indeed be a human game of chess, as a so-called living legend likes to say. And in fact, I venture to guess Mark, that a critical mistake will precipitate the end result of this bat match. Indeed, Morrow, both of these men have worked out a lot in the dungeon. They know what it's all about, and it's just that one second that could mean the difference. And both of them are ring technicians. They also like to take to the air. There's a shoulder block by Teddy Hart. Drop down. Hart trips up, but recuperates in time to take Wilson over. Side headlock takeover now. Also raking the eyes there. I'm actually quite surprised, Morrow. We haven't heard much from the Pounders over in the other side there. Principal Pound and Assistant William Yates, the head assistant headmaster. Very quiet so far, which is good. Pending predicament here for Wilson. You're right, Wilson, a member of the Principal's Honor Roll. Teddy Hart with the cover now on T.J. Wilson only gains a two. And Teddy Hart has displayed a wide arsenal of suplex and high-flying maneuvers in this one, Mark. Absolutely amazing, Morrow. In fact, I didn't recognize the one where he ran up the ropes. What the heck was that? <laughs> he perches T.J. Wilson high atop the ropes again, and he is going to take it to the air one more time. He is standing on the second rope now. Oh, and T.J. Wilson turns it into a top rope DDT, a tornado DDT by Wilson. Unbelievable. And he instantly turns the tables on Teddy Hart. Wilson grew up idolizing the late, great Owen Hart. And uh, something I don't usually do, but I have to commend WCW for allowing Bret Hart and Chris Benoit to put on a classic this past Monday on Nitro in honor of Owen. It was held at the venue where Owen tragically passed away earlier this year in Kansas City. And of course, Owen will always be forever young and forever missed by all of us here at Stampede Wrestling. Missile oh. dropkick by Wilson. And of course, Wilson has to win to stay alive in the Commonwealth Tournament. Exactly. As you mentioned, if you lose, you get two points against you. A draw is one, zero points for the winners. And something tells me Wilson may be going to the well once too often. Hart gets back up to his feet. Wilson's on the top rope. Oh, and Hart delivers a drop kick. That's gotta hurt. That hangs Wilson up on the top rope. And now Hart going to the second rope. Wilson in dire straits right now. And there's a superplex from the top rope. The fans are the cover. Only a two count as Wilson at the last second able to lift the left shoulder blade. He is purely wrestling on instinct right now. Man, a lot of heart with that young man. He's taken a pounding. No pun intended, of course. Crossover now. Oh, and a forward Russian leg sweep. We're going up again. Earhart. Earhart about to be cleared for takeoff. There he is with a shooting star press. This should be it. Two, three, it's first. And Teddy Hart has bounced T.J. Wilson from the British Commonwealth Mid-Heavyweight Tournament with the shooting star press. A scintillating move puts Teddy Hart into the next round of the tournament. All right, wrestling fans, we just saw Teddy Hart vanquish T.J. Wilson in the British Commonwealth Mid-Heavyweight Title Tournament. Principal Richard Pound 
and another member of the Honorable William Yates right now admonishing T.J. Wilson for bringing dishonor to the honor roll. And let's see if we can uh, get a few words here. William Yates, what's going on here? This young man has once again disappointed us. The principal and myself are very upset at this young man. And for that, you will pay the ultimate price. You will hold out your hand right now, and you will take it as a man. Next time you may win, but right now, we're talking about now. Hold out your hand, young man. It appears that T.J. Wilson is about to be subjected to corporal punishment. Now, don't you think this kind of activity is, this kind of punishment is outdated in today's society? I don't think so. All you kids around here, your principals of school don't do this enough. You guys don't get the clue right now. I'm going to come to your house and strap every single one of you. The brutal treatment of T.J. Wilson at the hands of the principal and the honor.